Ready to get your bunny on? I am. Let me show you how fun this card is to make. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my smoky slate layer and I've already run this through the decorative dots embossing folder. So you're going to want to take your two inch circle punch and you're going to center it on your layer and push it down as far as it will go. So push your punch all the way in and we're going to punch that out. That gives us the, the circle that we need. And then I just have a scrap of black here that's big enough to cover that up. So I am going to glue that on the back. Just like that. And then we're going to proceed to make our bunny. I'm using Smoky Slate ink for that. And I've just got a scrap of Whisper white card stock here. I'm going to stamp the bunny face and then I'm going to stamp a couple ears and I'm doing it like this so I can get my punch in there. The festive flower punch is the punch that matches this stamp set, which by the way is the cute and adorable Friends and Flowers. We've got a baby in a pea pod, a fish, various flowers, stems, leaves. Um, this matches one of our scallop punches. So you've got a lot of really cute things here to make. And they all match this punch. I'm going to use the 1 and 3 8 inch punch to punch out my bunny face. And then I'm going to come in with the festive flower punch and punch out my ears. And I could have positioned this better on my paper so I wasn't wasting so much too. So just keep that in mind. Look at your punch before you stamp. So here's a couple ears and our bunny face. And then, oops, I don't want to say that. I'm using pink pirouette ink here and I took a q-tip. We're going to color with a q-tip. I took a q-tip and did my cute little bunny cheeks. You can just dab them on there. You can rub them around. It's your bunny. You can do whatever you want with it. I'm just going to kind of put a little color in the ears here. doesn't have to be perfect. Bunnies aren't perfect. We need a bunny butt. So I'm going to give us a little butt here, and I'm also using the 1 and 3 8 inch punch. And then our tree builder punch has this cute little flower in it. That's going to be my bunny's tail. And then we need some feet for the bunny. And I found that the big circle on the owl builder punch fit the best for the bunny's paws. So we've got a lot of punch things going on here. There we go, we've got all our pieces. Just so you can see a little bit better here, I'm going to take my little feet and make little toe marks on them. And this is with my gray marker. Just like that. And then the last thing that we need to punch out here are the leaves that go on our flower. I'm using the Mint Macaron ink pad. And this is the stamp from the Friends and Flowers that I'm going to use. We're going to stamp our leaves right there. And you're going to insert it into your punch. and punch out your cute little leaves. I've already punched out my flowers here. I use the pansy punch. This little flower punch, and I'll tell you what this is. I can't remember the name of it right now. And then I used the itty bitty accents punch for the smallest flower. So we've got three different flowers here. And you could build your flower from the 
petals and images that are on here. That probably would have been a great idea, but I'm doing it this way. So now we're ready to build our little bunny. And what I did is I put the bunny's butt in here. I kind of do a dry fit when I make stuff like this. I like to see how is everything going to fit in place before I start gluing things down. Isn't that adorable? I love, love, love it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the feet onto my bunny face. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the front of my little feet. And bring my bunny face in. And I like to use glue because I can move things around. It just works so much easier. So that's what we have so far. Then I'm going to glue the ears onto my bunny. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here on the front of my ear and put that right underneath the bunny head and a little bit more glue on the front of this ear and put that under my bunny head. I'm going to spread these out just a little bit more. And again, I love the glue for this because you can adjust and move as needed. And that's going to work just perfect on there. Then we're going to glue down our bunny butt. Get that bunny butt glued down. I'm going to glue that right in there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the tail. You can tuck this tail underneath or you can glue it on top. It's completely up to you. And now I'm going to use dimensionals on this part of my bunny. So we've got a dimensional on the bunny head and one on each of the ears. And now we're just going to put that in place. There we go. Next we have our flowers. And with our flowers, I like to scrunch up the edges just a little bit. I kind of hold them with the end of my fingernail towards the end of the petals. So I can just bend them up a little bit. Gives it a little bit of 3D going on there some dimension. It looks a lot nicer than just flat flowers. I'm going to use a dimensional, oops, I've got two there, on this first flower that I'm going to put in here. And then our itty bitty flower, I do the same thing. I'm kind of going to scrunch up the edges. These are the type of things that just add that little extra something special to your projects. And it doesn't take much to do it. I'm just going to glue this one right in the center. Tiny dab of glue. And what would a little stack of flowers be without some bling? So here comes my bling. Put a diamond right in the middle. I'm going to take and cut my leaves in half so I can stack them and put them where I want them. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. And I like to do stuff this way. I like to kind of put my whoops, put my glued piece down here. And then I like to stack my images or layers on top of it so I can see what's going on. Yep, that looks good. That's what I like right there. Now, when you're cutting your card stock, like I cut a lot of layers that are four by five and a quarter for my card fronts. These little strips that you have left over, I tend to save quite a few of these because they make perfect little banners. I can't find my Everyday Greetings stamp set, 
right at the moment, but I'll show you how I made my little banner. I took my snips and you snip in the middle and then you snip from each side in. And when you have to do little banners like this, this works really good. So I would layer this on here and then your flower goes on the front. We're going to glue this all to our card and then let me show you the inside of my card. I used a Whisper White layer and a Mint Macaron layer and then I wanted to show you the sweet sayings. This is the um, greeting that I'm going to put in the inside, wishing, all, wishing you all the beautiful blessings of Easter. Now I had a customer the other night that asked me, she always gets edges when she stamps. So she's getting too much ink on her stamps and she's rocking them a little bit. She had no clue. Do you see how I have cut this greeting out? I took my scissors and you cut your rubber off. Where you're getting edges, clean your stamp off, cut the rubber off. You want to make sure that your scissors stay straight up and down, that you don't have them angled at all because if you angle them under your rubber here, your stamps won't stamp right. Keep it straight up and down and trim off that excess rubber. Save yourself a lot of headaches. She said, I always ruin my cards because I get edges. And I thought, oh, I felt so bad for her. And I was so glad she was at my class to learn that these are your stamps. You cut that rubber to what you need it to be. It won't hurt a thing. It's nice that Stampin' Up! Um, die cuts the rubber for us, but trim it up a little bit. So I'm using the Smoky Slate, and there's our inside greeting. How cute is that? One thing we have to do yet is add our little ribbon to the top of our bunny's head here. So I'm just going to take the quarter inch pink pirouette ribbon and I'm going to tie it in a really tiny little bow here. I'm sorry, a knot, not a bow, nothing difficult. And I'm going to trim that off with my ribbon scissors. And for this one, I'm not going to angle it. I'm going to make it straight. And then it looks like our bunny has a little bow in her hair because, of course, she is a girl. Right? And when I use mini glue dots, I kind of like to um, fold them up a little bit so they don't stick out from under tiny objects like this. We're going to put that right up here. Isn't this just stinking cute? What an adorable Easter card. I absolutely love it. Thanks for stopping by and stamping with me. If you don't have a Stamping Up! demonstrator, I would be happy to earn your business. Pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com. I'll be happy to send you some catalogs. And check out my blog, astampabove.com. There's a lot of great projects and ideas. I have two other exclusive bunny cards on there for you. Add a little sparkle to someone's day. Send them a card.